You have the same time schedule as Jesse now, right now, do I? Is he up early? Wait, I need to ask him. Should we ask him if he has time for a short call? Do you have time for a short call be before the feast? Yo. Good evening. Are you motivated for tomorrow? I am excited, yeah, and I'm motivated. That's I'm getting good. my... You're getting? All the supplements and stuff like that, like all the extra stuff. Nice, nice. What's GABA at the end? Uh, that is... That is uh, and also, that... can I mix it with ghoul? With what? Can I mix it with ghoul? What is ghoul? Well, if you put ghoul with GABA, then it's GABA ghoul. <laughs> I don't know about these things, okay? <laughs> okay. But, so what's up? So, uh, before you start tomorrow... Yeah. Remember, you can, uh, if there's something, some questions, anything, remember just to type or call. Um, have you have you walked yet? Or yeah. just bike? Bike or walk? No, I did a walk yesterday. I did a bike before that. I did a bike this morning. How did it feel? The bike is the best one. Because the, the bike, I feel like I don't have to go outside and sweat. <laughs> but uh, it, it doesn't matter for weight loss. Like, it doesn't matter, it's just cardio, right? Like, it's just getting my heart rate up, right? Yes. Okay. All right, W. It's up to just you. Just sure. At, the... at what point do you think I should be doing more, though, than just that first exercise in the morning? Like, when am I going to... Uh, let's just, say, let's just uh, look at how fast the weight drops first, and then we can have a look at it. Okay. I think we're, we can rather look at that than uh, time spent... And, and it also has to be how much you can do. Because yeah. remember, it's important that if you get the feeling that you want to quit, if you want to stop because oh, this feels way too much, you have to tell me mm -hmm. so we can uh, change it up a little bit. Yeah, I, I won't leave you in the dark. I'll, no. I'll let you know. It's, it's way better. To uh, we we can find solutions. There's a lot we can do, and if if you're if this food because you're not used to it, a lot of people they um, they uh, feel like oh it's horrible to only eat this type of food. So so we can switch up that as well if it is uh, necessary instead of quitting. But I would recommend you sticking to this. I mean, I'm out. I'll tell you. I mean, especially with. You're, everything kind of happening on your TikTok and stuff. Yeah. I mean, now it's. <clears throat> I have a lot more inspiration to do it now because now I got. I saw a bunch of messages of people that were like me, and they're like, "Bro, I'm gonna do it with you." Yes. And now I'm like, <laughs> now I can't quit because they're doing it. <laughs> then they will quit as well. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, it was insane. Five point five million views. Yeah, it's like more than Ellen. We're better than Ellen. Can you? It's it's insane. That's what it is. We're, we're the new Ellen. We're the new Ellen. <laughs> 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 yeah, we we're gone viral before, as you said, in in the cold. <laughs> yeah, the, the rust clip. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I I'm happy though. My my sister also, she wants to do it as well because we're both like. Have your set so she can just follow the same diet, right? I mean, we're... it depends on her uh, weight. Maybe she has to take off some food. We got like the same BMI. You're like the same. She, she can start out there as well. We might okay. have to, like, it is, it, it might be different how much weight you bought or how much food you can, you should be eating. You too. Like, this isn't set for the rest of the diet that this amount yeah. of food, this is where we're starting to have a look because. It's a bit hard to calculate on someone how much calories are they actually using compared to their weight. So we have to just start at the point where it is like, this might just might be in the area somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then we adjust. If, if you feel like I'm going to be crazy hungry, you lose 20 pounds. Uh, I mean, and your to, weight is just to be honest with you, yeah. I usually do one meal a day. <clears throat> but I just do one big unhealthy ass meal a day. So oh. like you me having four meals a day, I mean, that looks like a shit ton of food to me. <laughs> so 
I'm like, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I would just be eating the burgers and the chicken sandwiches and the, the French fries. Yeah, in in the beginning, and the mozzarella be sticks. <laughs> in the beginning, this might also feel like it is too much, and then because I have I've had a friend that was doing strongman that was pretty fat that I helped with yeah. a diet before. Like he 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 was eating strongman, and and his goal was just to down calories. So when we changed it into this type of food from just eating burgers he was eating shitty food as well and mm -hmm. didn't care about if he was uh, too fat he couldn't eat all his food in the beginning almost like he, he felt like he was for force feeding himself with the food then after a little while when he got used to that type of food more volume he was starving at the same amount of food yeah i because everything, I mean, I, I have to know what grams are. I'm trying to think of grams because as much as we laugh at the grams, I really, I don't know how much 200 grams of chicken really is. Because that's just a chicken breast? Or is that like two uh, chicken breasts? It's a little you know bit I mean? like, a, like a normal. It, it is a good uh, stack of weed, isn't it? <laughs> just say. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, it'd be a shit ton of weed, but I don't think that. There's no way I'm eating that much worth of weed chicken or whatever. Hey, it's not making sense. Because it sounds like I'm going to be eating a fuck ton of chicken. It's like one and a half chicken breast. Really? Yeah. How come chicken's so much more dense than wheat? Answer me that now. Because <sighs> it is... Because uh, it is... It is more dense. Like, how... Explain. It's more... Uh, <laughs> it's more water in it as well. <laughs> which is more dense than dried up weed that you have. <laughs> What do you mean dried up? Now you're insulting my weed, bro. Okay. Oh, is that insulting? I don't know shit about the weeds. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, bro. Nah, but uh, yeah, my my sister wants to do it with me too, and <laughs> yeah, I, she's. I thought I was gonna be cooking it, but now she's gonna be cooking it. See, that's she the that's the best be part. And she's gonna be cooking all the meals now. So now nice. I just just solved the whole thing there. Yeah. So now I don't have a reason to not do it too. So. True. No, but know, I'm excited. It, it doesn't feel real because it's happening tomorrow, and I'm also gonna eat like crazy today. But I am gonna go hard. I've already made the swap. Like I'm drinking like uh, for every diet soda that I do now, I do drink a water bottle. Yeah, so it's 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 now. just nice for you to mix in some water and drink pure water as well. It's good. So that's fine. I I think yeah, this I was, will be perfect. I, just, I had like tanks with like Diet Dr Pepper that were just like. That was, like that was my water supply was whatever water they put in diet dr pepper yeah. for like a while the thing is the, the, the only bad thing with a lot of diet sodas is the caffeine yeah because it can be too much if you're only drinking uh, diet sodas with caffeine all day it can be a little bit too much when they say aspartame is bad it isn't bad it's a joke right the... I know. I, I I tell people that whenever people talk shit about me drinking diet soda, I'm like, just go to go talk shit to Canute. And he will yeah, tell you that. He and really told me I could drink it every day. Read about the aspartame. There's barely anything in it. Like they had tested it on rats. They died because uh, they injected aspartame into the rats. <laughs> and. To, yeah, to I'm get, not injecting to, this diet Dr. Pepper. No, no, and, and the point was they had to inject an insane amount before it got any side effects. They would die of yep. all die that uh, of like too much fluid being injected to them before they would die of the effects of the aspartame. So, so, so it isn't yeah. a problem. Yeah, I, well, I'm happy then because I, I feel like my diet soda right now is literally my copium. Like yeah. it's like, yeah, but it's a good copium. Like I'm, it doesn't matter, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, I mean it's. I, I mean I'm not fucking with regular soda. I mean last year all I drank was regular soda. Yeah, like, and barely water, and I haven't done that. And there's so much like, sugar. There's so much sugar. Oh, I know. That's I know insane. that. That's where. Yeah, because what I ended up doing was I had a week. What ended up happening? Is I was like, for one week, I didn't have a uh, regular soda, not yeah. by choice, right? No. It was just diet soda. And then after that week, I like noticed a bunch of shit that I thought was because of something else started uh -huh. going like my 
I thought I was getting swelling on my ankle because of some other shit. I thought I was getting, and I noticed all those things went away in yeah. that week. And I was like, oh <laughs> shit. Like I, and so that scared the absolute shit out of me. So that's why I don't drink regular soda at all. And I stay away, I try to stay away from sugar just in general. Yeah, I'm just I'd, nervous of diabetes. At least hold it on the lower side. Like sugar shouldn't be a part of the daily intake. If you have sugar now and then, it doesn't matter. It's all about moderation. This, this is this, that. That's what it is. It's all about moderation. So, so on, on general, I won't set up a diet which contains sugar. But if you had sugar, let's say it is Christmas this Christmas, and on Christmas Eve, of course, we're giving you a day where you probably spend with your family or maybe you're just streaming, whatever you're doing, have some Christmas food. Doesn't matter, have some Christmas cakes. I don't know the traditions of your family because it's different all over the world, but whatever, right? It doesn't matter. Cheesecake. 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 That's what we... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Christmas or first day of Christmas, then you're having a cheesecake. Yeah, I am. But, but right, we gotta stop talking about cheesecake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and and in the beginning, the sugar addiction will probably be a little struggle as well. If you have a sugar, if it is a lot of sugar in the food you're used to, it yeah. will probably you will probably crave some of that. But it will, it it will it will be over after a little while. Yeah, I think. I mean, I don't really know. I'm trying to think of what I even eat that has sugar. I mean. There's a lot of things that have sugar. I think the biggest ones is my condiments. Like yeah. I'll I eat barbecue sauce and everything, ketchup. Like yeah, I, and I can't, remember I can't do any of that, right? Ever. <sighs> Not on a daily, but you you can use sugar-free ketchup if you want to. I've used that on diets. I hate it. <laughs> you don't I need to diet use it. Oh, the sugar-free ketchup is so bad. <laughs> uh. I haven't tasted regular ketchup uh, in a, a long time. I, I can't even remember how it tastes, to be honest. It's so good. <sighs> you can go now. I see a guy in chat said <laughs> cleared when I said that. <laughs> 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 Fuck off. <laughs> oh, I can do hot sauce though, right? Yes. As long as it isn't uh, too much uh, sugar. Probably some of them is added in sugar. Just make sure it isn't like high calorie. We need to just look at it. Um, I, I think like Tabasco and stuff is like... Yeah, and you don't use that trash. much of it anyway. I, <clears throat> I'm i just trying to think of things that I can just flavor stuff with. Cause... And you can use soy sauce. Like, like... Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Mm. Just gotta be careful, right? Or is it sodium not really matter with this? Because I'm not eating as much. Uh, sodium, in general, yeah. isn't the worst thing. Um, and you're putting so You should have sodium on, uh, on all your food. You need salt every meal. I do that. Yes. So, <clears throat> I have like this steak blend seasoning that I've been using recently too. I'm probably going to abuse the shit out of it. And all that rice and chicken and shit, I'm probably going to smother it. There, so. there, there is a lot of uh, fake news out there about so, uh, salt in food. I think what matters, give, give me a little second, I need to fact check here before I speak. Um, uh, oh, what was the name of that guy that's always talking about this when it comes to blood pressure and on athletes and uh, salt? Now, high blood pressure isn't a scam, but it is the balance between, I think it is sodium and potassium. Give me, give me a second. I just need to... Uh, 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 uh. It's not Greg Doucet. He's a trainer. He has made a di He has a diner uh, diet that he calls... Um, it's not more... It isn't a... He's, he's a former bodybuilder and powerlifter. He's a bit older now. What's his name? He has... His name is Bob the Builder? <laughs> no. Stan, yes. Stan Effering. Here's a guy that has seen it. He is always talking about... Um... Thank you. Uh, blood pressure. Salt. Give me a second here. So, you need more salt. 
This is Stan. It's actually an acronym for salty and tan. His full name is Stan Jacked. I'm just seeing what he has to say. Oh, this is 24 reality, minute long video that it, where he is explaining why we need salt and how I need to see if I can find uh, some, some something written. So it is a bit shorter. You're gonna send me the article, and it's gonna say written by Canadian. <laughs> 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 I gotta find this somewhere. Mm, Stand up, Frank. Transcript the read state. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Excellent question. <laughs> Sources, dude. Trust me. <laughs> No, it isn't. It isn't uh, <laughs> from me. I didn't make this. Uh, one of the largest contributors to high blood pressure. I know people think of sodium as a contributor to high blood pressure, but that's really only for hypersensitive people who don't get adequate potassium, to be honest. And that's a small percentage of the population. So you have to make sure so I can generally see an athlete drop 15 points on their uh, so, uh, systolic blood pressure with a week or 10 days using it. But if, what is it talking about? He's talking about... Uh, uh, now he's talking about sleep and... Uh, do you sleep well, uh, Jesse? Do you have a CPAP machine? Um, I don't have a problem getting sleep. I hibernate. You sleep so too I much? Get like, I get like 16 hour days in. But do you uh, have quality sleep? So you're... Uh... Yeah. So you, you don't feel tired when you wake up? No. I usually, I'll wake up and I'll feel like, holy shit, I'm back. And I feel rejuvenated. Because uh, sleep apnea is also a thing that you... That and I don't, I don't snore either. You don't snore either. Do you have do you stop breathing sometimes during night? Nope. Never. Oh, only one time. But <clears throat> it was jar it was because uh like no one has ever told me this ever in my entire life. But one time during the snowstorm in Austin, yeah. I slept on the couch at Mrs. House and apparently Schlatt and Trainwrex was betting that I was gonna die because I stopped breathing over and over again. Yeah. But besides that I've no one has ever told me that I have that problem ever, except for that. Because that can be an never. issue. The, I don't know if it is. No one has ever told me that except for that one time. But I was like sleeping on like a couch upright, like I was sitting with my head back. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, I never I sleep that. like that. No, oh, for that, that the sleeping position can uh, can be a problem uh, when it comes to that as well. Yeah. So this I'm is just sure. this is just a normal heavy person pro problems. It, 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 it isn't only a fat people problem, it is uh, heavy person problems as well. That's is why I'm mentioning. Is it weird that I'm not getting sleep apnea? Uh, the, chance, the chances for you having them is pretty high at 320 pounds. Maybe that's, oh. be that's why you sleep 16 hours instead of 8 or 9. I mean, how could I check like on my own? Like... Mm. How am I supposed to tell if I snore? It, it isn't about the snoring; it's the breathing stops that you uh, that you mentioned. That, that's the that that is apnea. Snoring doesn't mean you have apnea. Is there mm. any way I can like do? Well, let me see what they say. Apple Watch. Actually, my sister-in-law has an Apple Watch. I'll just use that and see. I I, I don't I know how good could... good those are to test sleep apnea. But uh, I tested from the hospital. They had like a machine that I had to connect and sleep with so I could see measure my breathing and I did not have it but uh, I I think I had it when I was sick then I stopped reading multiple times so, yeah I see like I, that's never been like a thing no ever in my life maybe, yeah, maybe like, it isn't it, it might not be so it was just something I uh, mm -hmm. I, I thought I had to mention was there anything more I, I, I will mention is there anything you have questions about Is there anything you're worried about? I mean, not 
not yet. I my main thing is I just don't know how much food this actually is yet because I haven't seen it yet, you know. Well. But besides that, I mean, I like all the food that you put. I, my main things is like, is any of this? I guess one thing is any of that stuff you told me to get, like the what are they called? Um, like the extra shit. Supplements. What would you call that? Yeah, those supplements that you put like. Is any of that going to make me feel weird, or is there going to be side effects of that shit, like me taking this stuff that I have never uh, taken before? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. There's no th there isn't that... side effects uh, on them. This is basically just uh, mineral, mostly just minerals and uh, vitamins, nothing else. All right. I mean, then besides that, yeah. Because th that's the only thing I don't, I was unsure about. Because I don't, like, I don't know what GABA is. I don't know what. GABA like, I don't know is how better... for relaxation to get in better sleep quality. All of those three in the evening are. Takes a shit ton of weed and scared about supplements. <laughs> well, well, I'm not scared. It's not that. I just want to, like, if something. No, no, no. Okay, hear me out. Okay. Yeah, I will hear you. It was just, I was just reading chat. I mean, I know this isn't the same, but like I, you know, I, I had like a little gym arc, like maybe like three years ago that I did, and um, I was just taking like pre-workout and stuff before I went, and my body reacted to that shit really bad. So I'm just really wary of when I like actually take shit, you know. Just want to make sure because I got like bad hives and shit. If, so, I don't know. I didn't know what you're telling bad. me to take, bro. I don't know what GABA is. I don't know. I don't know what any of it is. Look here, I can post you a link. That was the first, uh, first the hit on Google. Uh, Same. Oh, you, you can pull it Got up. Got a WebMD. <laughs> <laughs> Every yeah. time I come here, it tells me I'm dying or something. There we go. Uh. Let's see. Why have you take Gaba? Oh. <clears throat> Gabba, you, you get that from food as well. <sighs> Wait, I want some of this Gabba. Helps with anxiety and mood disorders. Well, you guys I, I... have cheat codes? You guys are taking this? It, it's no one ever told me about Gabba. It's a supplement. I wouldn't expect it to do magic. Just saying. But it can improve stuff. That is what it can. It will help with my PMS. That's good. Okay. So. PMS. Um, <laughs> is there um? Is there any questions you have for me? <laughs> uh, like... I don't think there's any special. Uh questions right now uh... not how my how my day was or anything isn't it a bit early okay it's 10 a.m for you how, how was your day uh did you wake up early today yep and i got up and i went out to the garage and i went on my uh, exercise bike yeah um I don't, I don't have the coffee and stuff yet i'm not starting that so i just drank the water that's fine um i did 45 minutes Walked into the house, legs was feeling spaghetti-like, laid down, or took a shower, then laid down, and immediately slept. And then my day <laughs> reset. I slept another four hours. Sounds like so. a regular day for a Twitch streamer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I literally walked back inside and said, yep, well, time to get a whole day rest. I mean, is that bad for me to go to sleep after doing that, or as long as I get it done? Hey, it doesn't matter. Okay, then. As long as you can go to sleep again in the evening. I know this is a hard, this is a really hard thing. I'm struggling with this, but one of the better, uh, uh, what I'm struggling the most with is having a consistent sleep schedule. I, I which would not be have good, one of those. Which would be a good thing. Rest is important. And a consistent sleep schedule makes life a bit better, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's just too many things that come up that I got to do, like in life or one day, or I got to go do with somebody online or there. It's, there's, I have too incons inconsistent of a schedule for me to have it. 
yeah. sleep schedule that's normal. You know what I mean? I know how it is. Uh, normal. It doesn't mean that you have to go to bed at 10 p.m. and sleep till 6 a.m. That's not what I'm saying. You, but consistent sleep schedule is a good thing. So you have the same. Uh, so you go to bed at fairly the same time and wake up around the same time every would be a good thing but uh whatever you can do it doesn't matter it's uh, get enough sleep at least it sounds like you're getting that yeah i mean i'm getting too much sleep so at the moment i mean ho ho hopefully you know i feel like i have more i mean i feel like i have energy like okay let me tell you something weird actually that happened yeah. i went out i did the walk uh yesterday yeah and then i ca and then i came home and i was like dude i feel like i have so much energy yeah. and then the second i sat down i was like oh my god bro so i went i got something to eat because you said when you're because i was feeling like bad like actually like sick yeah. feeling like i was like feeling like something was fucking going wrong things were feeling dizzy and stuff i went in there um i ate and then like I slept for so long. That's when, it, yeah, I ended up sleeping like that for like twelve hours after that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a disaster, but I don't know. I think just my body just isn't doing like used to doing this shit, bro. I know it sounds embarrassing, yeah, but, but it's been a while, man. Listen, like uh, it's actually nuts to me that my body's doing this. It's embarrassing. You, you should you should remember you shouldn't think about embarrassing. That that isn't the word here we want to use. I don't. Th I think don't think that is smart. You should just feel like now we're improving. We haven't done this. We have. Uh, I have been lazy, and haven't done what I should have been doing. Now we're not doing that. It will be the body isn't used to it. It's responding to something it isn't used to. That's it, and it will be easier after. I I would guess within a week you can feel a big difference when it comes to that. In a week, really? Yeah, that your your body is oh, adapting shit. fast. Of course, it doesn't happen magic within a week, but you can feel the difference on how your body getting used to these new things. That happens fast. Oh, actually, makes that makes me feel a little bit better than actually if it's like I thought it was gonna be months. I thought like I'm like, I mean, I'm I know it isn't like that because I've had gym marks too, right? Like I've had not like gym marks, but like you know I've gone through my diets and stuff. Yeah. that i've tried to do not lifestyle changes but just short-term diets yeah and i always like the way I, I i like the way i end up feeling but it always like like i've never gotten to a point i've never gotten into a point where i feel healthy yet you know what uh -huh. i mean like i've gone on my diet kicks and shit but i haven't gone there even like doing keto keto i felt the worst in keto was the worst diet i've ever did but I lost the most weight doing keto. Yeah, you like, probably gained fast when you went over to other types of food as well. Yeah, well, yeah, after keto, I gained it all back, but I also just felt like shit. Yeah. Like, keto is keto scared me from doing diets for a while. Yeah, but the it, was, th it was really the, physical. The thing is, if you look at a diet, if you look at a diet I made, it has everything. Like it is different types of protein sources, different type of healthy fat sources. It has carbs from different sources. It isn't just one thing you're eating or you're not cutting out a certain food group. It is a little bit of everything. It's just balanced. Yeah, not removing carbs is kind of nice. No, we're not removing anything. Yeah, just like balancing. And the goal isn't to lose weight as fast as possible either we just have to do it slow and steady but then, that. Now, now I came I, I have a question mm. what do you th not, not your not your goal that you set like realistically but what would be where you if you, if you should if you could choose where where would you set your goal like if it was if you don't care about any limits or any time frame or anything what would be where you could wish the most that you would uh, end up um i mean like physically or like you said you asked me like a weight 
like an weight, actual physical, like pounds, whatever or? whatever you could think of it doesn't matter i want to like be able i think it would be like i think this if i can go outside and run like go run outside actually go like do like a fucking mile or something and not feel like i'm dead or like my heart rate's going a bajillion or like you know i'm getting some weird ass cramp halfway through it or something like where things it just is natural because yeah. that's how shit used to be yeah. when i just want things to kind of go back to where shit used to be you feel me i uh, get that and i would say that is fully possible but it will take time That that is that won't happen overnight or in a two months or something, but it is possible. I mean, I I'm gonna do it. I mean, I'm not quitting. No. So. Good. No. Yeah. We need to have the weekly follow up. I think that is smart. Do Do you? Um, another question. How, how can I uh, frame this question? Is there anything I should avoid saying or doing to demoti that would demotivate or something I could do that will make you fe stay more motivated? Is, is it something I could have said? Like, let's say you're, you're starting to feel a bit down and you want to quit and I say, fuck you, Jesse, Get, man up, don't be uh, pussy out now. Would that demotivate you or... <laughs> no. How do you want me to handle that those days? Um, no, I don't really think you could. I'm not gonna lie, unless like, say pussy, like you say Jesse. <laughs> pussy. Try, and try calling me that. Jesse, you fucking pussy. Yeah, if you said some shit like that after I I came in with like a scale in, maybe we'd have a little bit of an issue. But besides that, nah, I think <laughs> I think we'll be fine. I don't. I seriously no. There's nothing you could say. You're an angel, so no. I'm not an angel. Do you know what? I I've just done this for years and years, so I enjoy this thing. Just remember that. I think it's fun for me to see if you progress. That 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 is yeah. just fun for like me. Like an MMO. You're just like you're literally MMO. doing the roguelike right now, and you're just doing a brain. You're doing the character with the worst stats, and you're just like, all right, let's see. <laughs> St starting from the bottom and building up <laughs> level one <laughs> you're just literally just going on a smurf we'll end up level uh, level 99 somewhere next year <laughs> yeah I'm glad I'm starting it now and I'm, I, I've seen some comments and shit too on that tiktok shit they're like yeah I saw them what yeah, like, why wait till next year? I was like, well, I'm literally starting it the day after Thanksgiving. You can't take the Thanksgiving away from me. I was looking forward to it all month. Well, yeah, give me that. And then then we're good. Yeah. No, no, no. We, we, we don't. We, it's better. We, we, we agreed on Friday. You came up with Friday. We agreed. And we start Friday. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. And I the only reason I'm doing the exercise bike stuff is because I'm just like, I get excited. Yeah. So I'm like, that's literally all. That's that's just been like, all right, let's just see how my day is when I do it. But I'm not eating healthy while doing that, so I'm crashing mm -hmm. omega. Yeah, like I'm so, like yesterday, I ate Burger King. When okay, it, so like, when it comes to that uh, excitement, I think every time you see progress, you will stay excited. If it goes like a a week, for example, where you don't have progress, it, it can slow down the excitement a little bit. So, so, so that that will go uh, a bit up and down. So just be prepared. What do you mean? Be pre prepared that it might be some days that can be oh, okay. harder than Sounded others. scary. No, no, no. no it, <laughs> That, that's just... that we're going to the next chapter and you're like be prepared and then you just leave the call <laughs> so you the, the, yeah, but the, the will be no, new chapters but we, we won't do anything crazy because that's not the point there there's no point of doing anything uh, insane 
or if you want to we can diet really fucking hard and start uh, going 10 days 10 uh, workouts a week at the gym plus cardio seven days a week we can do that as well but i don't see the purpose of doing that yeah i don't think we could do well i eventually i'm not no joke i eventually want to though not no, that, not that much. Not that much. Yeah, no. that sounded like the Thor's schedule. I'm not trying to do all that, but uh, no, no, no. <laughs> but <laughs> I want to get. I want to get a treadmill too. I want to get a treadmill for the garage area. Yeah, I'm a treadmill fan. The bike hurts my ass. How do you? What do you deal with bike ass? I don't bike. When when I oh. told you, Jesse, that I am fucking lazy. <laughs> it is true <laughs> wait so you're literally just in challenger rank and you're just staying there and you just every once in a while so you don't demote play a game like is that yes. a good equivalent <laughs> almost <laughs> the season you don't want to reset decay. sometimes and then I have to, to uh, grind a little bit and uh, when it's a new season and then uh, we can just stay there Oh well, yeah. I want to. I want to get a treadmill. Treadmill is my favorite th thing to do at the gym too. The bike <laughs> hurts my ass. I hate it. Well, but yeah, that will but, be. I, I can tell you, the bike will be easier and easier on your ass when you're getting uh, lighter, until you're so. Until uh, your the body fat is so low, so it feels like you're sitting on bone. Oh. <laughs> then the seat hurts again. <laughs> it starts going the opposite direction. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you would think me having such a fat ass that it wouldn't hurt me, but it figures out a way to hurt me. Yeah. It knows. <laughs> <laughs> bike ass. How do you deal with bike? You can also buy those bicycle shorts. Have you seen them? I'll find a picture. <laughs> I am not putting that shit on. All yeah, right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh... You ever see the picture of Poke with holding the corn dog with no stick? Does someone yeah. have the picture? Send me that. Link it, chat. I have... look like I'm wearing those. <laughs> uh, copy image address. I'm not sure how long. There it is. This is for you. <laughs> Do you see it? Yes. <laughs> That's gonna be me wearing the bike yeah, shorts. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> Look at the uh, there's uh, bike shorts I found for you. You can have only that one on. Let me see. I linked it above the poke. Hit it like snap it on my. <laughs> Go outside like butterbeer, yeah. butterbean. Yeah. Because <laughs> that one has the, like, um, soft little pillow in between the legs. You can see that. So then you, that's how you deal with bike ass. The way you define <laughs> a soft little pillow. <laughs> I'm not sure. Padded is what it is. Padded ass. Yeah, I might be able to fix my bike ass. That or I just fucking... Duct tape a pillow to my ass. Do that. You can duct tape a pillow on the bicycle seat as well. Yeah, I'll have to figure this out. Or I'll just wear a big adult diaper. Works <laughs> probably as well. You don't even need to go off the bike to <laughs> to do anything. <laughs> you can just continue biking until the <laughs> till the time is over. <laughs> no, but I uh, I. <coughs> I don't see any immediate things. We can. Uh, we see a bit. We see a raid coming in. No, oh, it's fine. I'm just gonna ignore it. No, no, no. <laughs> no I'm kidding. I'll ignore that. One sec. Uh. <laughs> uh. It does not. There you go. So. Uh, the only supplement I'm not sure if you can get is 
NAC, NAC. Have you seen if you can buy it? Can I buy say that one more time? NAC. NAC. NAC? Yeah. Uh, probably on PlayStation. I don't know if GameStop still holds that, though. Let me see. GameStop. Are you NAC 2 or NAC 3? NAC 2 or NAC 3? What are you talking about? What NAC are you talking about? The supplement. Oh. NAC supplement. Uh, I see they're selling them on Amazon at least. Yeah, if it's on Amazon, I'm getting all that today if it's on the list. Oh, yeah. Everything's getting... Yeah, everything's... They're just selling it on well. Amazon at least, but I don't see any prices. Uh, best seller. Currently unavailable. What's the, what's the equivalent? There isn't any. Well, in worst case. Living animal. <laughs> in worst <laughs> case, you just don't. <laughs> In worst case, just skip that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, it might be prescription in the United States now. I'm not sure, but all of these brands. Let me see. Can I take NAC in America? <laughs> Never thought I'd Google that. Um, unless industry. I found a Walmart link. Look, I'll post it in chat. Let me see if Walmart got it. Oh, that, that is 1,000 milligram. The one I told you to take was 600. They might have that one as well. You don't need more than two times 600. So can I just take one of these thousands? You can probably. All right, I'll be going over to Walmart. I'll be getting these knack pills. Let me see. They have, oh, they have the they have this one as well. Six hundred milligram. Uh, uh, uh. Is a form of non-essential amino acid cysteine. Is a sulfur. It is a sulfur-containing amino acid. Yeah. Like from rust. Uh. You could probably craft it in Rust after a while. You just need the. Uh, you just need the. Uh, what is that? The kit or um, the bench you have for uh, chemicals in Rust. I don't remember the name. Yeah, I gotta get the chemical mixing, bench or whatever. A mixing, oh, table. mixing table. Yes. That a little bit of gun, a little bit of charcoal, and then. <laughs> yes. Then you're good to go. No, All right, but, well, but it, it isn't. I don't think the supplements I put up for you is an expensive, so it shouldn't be a problem. I don't think. I just want. I just want to make sure I can get them. Like they're not like. The the others know. are standard everywhere. It's just the absolute standard. It wasn't uh, nothing special. Nothing uh, you can't get. And it isn't what about expensive. The, oh. What about that second list you sent me? Oh, those uh, other chemicals. <laughs> no, uh, those you have no. to. I, I asked you to go to. Uh, what was the name you said? The guy you buy weed from? I don't remember oh, yeah. his name. <laughs> hey, the guy at 7 Eleven. Don't yeah. hook me up. <laughs> He'll hook you up with that full list. <laughs> <laughs> so. No. But. He, had, he had everything. I saw you sent me the list of, uh, his gro in his grocery store. No, there's, there, there will be people that will asking you about, oh, why don't, why don't you take this or that? Or there's not needed, and it would probably not make you any healthy. Yeah, I've been noticing that a lot of people, as soon as it started, like, there's so many people, because there's going to be people that just disagree with diets. Of course. For, like, of course. Just, and they're so diehard on the fact that, like, like, they think it's dangerous that I'm not eating enough, but I don't do anything. <laughs> I'll tell you something yeah. if you want me to put it down for real I think the extra energy you have stored around 
uh, that you're carrying around will supplement uh, the diet for for a little while, right? It isn't. Uh, it has enough energy to take off there. You won't. You won't die. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so you're promising me I won't starve. You you might you be hungry, but you won't starve so, <laughs> for real now. Is it possible for me to starve? Or is if, it, is it... if you get in water, like... if you get in all the minerals, salts, you could last a long time. How long do you think I could last? I don't know. <laughs> no, that's actually cool. How long do you think I could last? If I had to. I've seen people just try out. The most I've seen people try is like a little bit over a month. And they could probably survive way longer. You would feel straight up horrible, but you could probably survive with water. And if you got in all the electrolytes, minerals, salts, weather mines, just that, you could probably last a few months. Exactly how long, I'm not sure. Okay, hey, so you just told me <laughs> that you know a guy that's done almost a month or something, and you I... just told me that I could last three. <laughs> He didn't die. No. He didn't die, right? <laughs> I did not know you were going to hit me with the three months. No, I don't know if you could last three months. I didn't say that. I said a couple. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, what we should do is we should just one month no eating and just give me in a good spot. I don't and then we go. I don't think that's a good idea for anything. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, but, uh, lasting three a whole season i'm yeah. actually a bear <laughs> i could actually hibernate like a fucking bear bro you would probably last for a long time if you just uh, was lying in bed all the time not using one single calorie extra other than just lying <laughs> there then you could probably last for a long long time <laughs> <laughs> you said too long. She said long, long. <laughs> but uh, I, I think that would be just straight up a horrible idea. <laughs> My monk arc. Yeah, you can just put a camera at your bed and your computer, so you can lie in bed with a keyboard mouse, make the, like a little um, bench that you have over you for keyboard and mouse, and then just the <laughs> only thing you do is like put a few extra pillows behind your back, so you're sitting like halfway up, and that's all the movement you're you about, do all day. You're telling me the most tempting idea, bro. I'm about to not do this diet and try that shit out. Uh, <laughs> and a, a big bottle of water and w w what is it like called? a like one of those hamster things like in a hamster cage yeah. for water with like a big pipe like yeah <laughs> or you could just have it straight hooked up to your uh, veins like those you have in the hospitals with some of the most needed uh, nutrients yeah just have an uh, iv with like coca-cola in it yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god you would... the day you were starting to eat again I think your stomach would be a little bit upset <laughs> well yeah <clears throat> well, I mean this guy wrote he was like if you starve yourself like that what did he say what did this guy say when you starve your body retains even more weight after eating but like say I starved myself for three months there's uh, no way I would get back right like you, you would have to slowly introduce food again because if you just started and pounding food you would you like could i'd have so to much. Pound, i'd have to mat stony that shit yeah but you could i i've i when i have dieted down to competition weight or competition uh ready conditioning like no fat um i'll tell you the feeling when you start eating again it's like there's no bottom. You can just push and push and keep yeah. going until a point where your stomach hurts. You wait 10 minutes, but you, you feel so hungry and you just continue till it hurts more and more and more. <laughs> Not smart. Yeah, to that, 
That was yesterday for me. Yeah. So. But uh, but that 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 uh, that happens, and I can't imagine how it would be if you uh, <laughs> if you <laughs> if you'd stopped eating for thirty days. That was you yesterday. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> no, I'll talk about it. No, I mean like yesterday, I only ate one meal. I still only do like one meal. That's yeah. why. I mean, like, you... I just order like one meal. So you're you're basically doing intermittent fasting already, and it doesn't work. Is yeah. that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, because I because I eat a lot and I don't do anything. Because I eat I... a lot and I want meal. Yeah. I splurge, bro. Yeah, a lot of people they 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 try to do intermittent fasting, like one meal a day, maybe two meals a day, to lose weight. But I always recommend to have like, at least a few meals and just control the amount you're eating instead. I th I think you will feel better that way. I'm excited. Oh. I'm excited. I want to feel healthy again. I don't think. I think I'll. I think I'll, like even the last time I got under 300, I felt so much better too. So just once I'm under 300 as well, things should be a lot easier. The only reason my diet stopped that first time like there was one time i got down i was like 286 or something that was the mm -hmm. lowest i ended up getting to but um i ended up hurting my back at i ended up hurting my back at the gym mm -hmm. so i didn't go back for one of the weeks and i went back the next week to try again and then i hurt my back again so mm -hmm. and it put me out for a while and then i never ended up going back to the gym again mm -hmm. after that so i yeah, think back, if i'm in the states one time we, we should go to the gym together you got to teach me how to, like, actually lift up my back, because I, I keep fucking up my back every time I try to do it. And, what and exercises have you been doing? Like, recently? Are you talking no, about when, back No, when you fucked your back. Uh, I was doing the putting... I mean, just going down, doing the straight back, and I don't know what it's called, but just lifting up the weights, like, going up, stretching your back out. From the floor? Deadlift? Yeah, yeah, deadlift. Just, like, flexing your butt and going back down. I kept throwing my back out on deadlifts. I yeah. did it twice, and the second time I did it, it was like real bad. For, for so. the, the most important thing when it comes to deadlift is not to bend your lower back. The upper yeah, but back... I just don't think I had the muscle structure there, though. You know what I'm saying? To rely on, mm. and I, I just don't have. I don't know because I, I tried doing it again and I fucked it up. How and bad I... did you fuck it up? <laughs> The first time it was just a pinch, but it was scary because my my brother had a history of fucking his back up, right? So like I knew about that and it scared me really bad because I always got that like, hey, you gotta make sure you don't do that. And then I waited like a week to the point where I did not feel it anymore and it actually felt stronger. And I was like, oh, okay, that's good. And then I did less weight and in the exact same spot I yeah. went and in that same spot it was like twice as worse. Like it hurt like twice mm. as bad. And it was like I could not even move. Oh, yeah. So I was like. I was going to wait, but I just never had to back to the gym. I can tell you some good news and bad news about those uh, types of pain. The bad news is that it hurts like hell, <laughs> and it feels limiting in most uh, what you're doing. The good part is that it's just pain. You have It, it doesn't really matter. You, you won't fuck your back up more by doing anything while you have pain. It's just painful. I saw a guy that does... Um, Mm, what was he like he, he was he's doing science on backs and he said uh, there was um athlete that was there that said like oh years ago i fucked up my back and they found out it was i think i don't remember the word prolapse in norwegian does that have a english is that close in english like his plates <sighs> prolapse it's probably just the same and he's and she said she stopped her career because of that. And he said, "Well, that was a waste of a career because it was only pain." Was what what he said because you don't fuck it up more by doing anything. It's just pain. Well, I mean, yeah, but like that's if I, I mean, I guess if like your job is like he was a bodybuilder, right? Where I was no, working. No, no, she was a skier or something. I don't remember, but it was yeah, like. I was working at Chili's and I pulled my back out and I couldn't even fucking walk at Chili's. I know. And I was like, 
So, I, I mean, that was just my circumstance. I was like, I'm fucking not going to the gym for a while because that was like the worst two days of work ever. Because like the days after I did that to my back and I worked at Chili's, it was like a Friday and a Saturday. Yeah. Too. It was, it was like two busy days where I, my back was out and I was like, but I'm not going to be going to the gym anytime fucking soon because I just didn't want that <laughs> happening again. No, but uh, if we start introducing gym workouts, we can skip deadlift. It doesn't matter. Well, is, I mean, is we there, can what a... could I just do to start prepping for if I wanted a deadlift is what I'm trying to say. Light deadlift? Really light deadlifts. That's it? There's nothing that I could do before that, like at home? Uh, but we can, let, let's say we are starting to with the gym at one point. We can start out with um, with other back workouts without deadlift that will strengthen your back up first and then start introducing light uh, deadlifts, whatever you're comfortable with. Practice form, uh, hyperextension. That is a back workout that uh, trains the back flexors. Hyper my my back and my shoulders have always been like oh. they hold they hold like I'm so behind with my shoulders and my back. You could start out with uh, I'll show you the exercise. This guy I, said do handstands. Okay, I'll try that. Uh, there should be a picture. You could start out with this uh, exercise. You see the point. Right. Alright, let me check it out. That would strengthen your uh, back flex, uh, your back flexors. And then you can introduce weights into that one to strengthen it even more. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to get posted up like this. Up. <laughs> that will like, make your butt uh, stronger as well, because you're obviously using some glutes, and you need to have a big round butt, Jesse. Even though you're losing weight, we can't uh, lose that one. Yeah, I do need to get in. I need to get like a big, giant, voluptuous, strong ass. Right uh, now, yes. I only have a big, big, fat, jiggly ass. Yeah, yeah, I'm but... looking for something like this. Let me see. Some th like this, like the one on the picture. Yeah. Yeah, we can... Um, it will take some time. But that's... Uh, we, we can do that. All I got is time, bro. Ta time like, I don't got... Oh. Yeah, I... How old are <clears> you? You made a good point. I'm 25. You, you made a good point, though. You were like, you said this last time, and it kind of stuck with me. And I've been re-saying it. Yeah. It's like, I was like, "Fuck, dude! Like, this is gonna be hard." And then you were just like, "Well, not really, Jesse. You're just gonna eat less." Yeah. And then, and then that kind of made me think like, it is just eating less. <laughs> yeah, but it is true. Like, the, the... It's not like you know, I gotta study for this test, or you know, I gotta. I gotta do this. We have a problem at work that I gotta do. It's literally just you're just going to eat less food, and then you're gonna magically just feel better. It is. It is correct. And, I mean, that's really is what it is. And I'm so scared to do it, I, or not anymore. Because if you think, I'm not about scared it, to do it. I'm actually confident, bro. Well, no, you're not. Because if you think about it, usually the things that is a struggle is doing stuff, right? You, oh, uh -huh. fuck, I should do this, I should do that. I have a hundred things I need to do. Now, you should spend less time eating. A little bit less time. Well, I'm actually going to be spending more time eating, honestly. Uh, maybe with more how this time. Is. Like, but way it, more time. Uh, yeah. yeah, but you will use way less time per meal. Yeah. yeah be, I'll finish it real quick. Uh, right now, I, I, I'll eat. I pretty much, like... I eat, and then I eat, and then I eat, and then I watch show, and then I eat, and then I smoke, and then I eat, and then my stomach hurts. Maybe it's a little then... bit more. Well, it depends. I mean, 
Yeah, like I like I order a, yeah, I mean I, I overeat. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna go into details, but I I eat way too much. But it is one meal though. So I'm gonna spend a lot more time eating though, which is calories burnt. Yeah. There's more arm movements. Okay. Right? Now I have a question. What is the most you have been eating in one day that you can remember? What I actually I actually know this answer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because it was really bad. <laughs> have you told told chat before? No. Nope. Can you tell us? Pretty bad. Hmm? It's pretty bad, but I do know it. Uh -huh. I don't know if I want to say it. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> it's no, because it's it's like it's it's really stupid. But now you're building up the t tension here to know it. <laughs> it was two Big Macs, a forty piece nugget, and four large cokes from McDonald's. And two large fries. Two Big Macs, yes. forty pieces of nuggets. Yes. And four cokes. Four large? Is that how how big is a large coke? They fucked up my order. It was what I used to live with my brother, and it gave me double of everything that I that I wanted, and I ate and drank all of it. And already half of that was too much, but I ate the double of it. Impressive that you can down 40 fucking nuggets. Oh, that was nothing. You know, the what nuggets, I... The nuggets didn't even have a fucking chance. I, I've it's tested a few a times. I've tested a few times what I can eat. What was your um, max? I have a few, and we tested actually this summer, and I had 80 pieces of sushi. Salmon, pretty big pieces with sushi, like nigiri, salmon, and rice. 80 pieces. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, we had an eating competition. It was me and uh, Haftor, the mountain Björnsson versus uh, Miskif, Esfan, uh, Seer, who was the Tectone, and a and girl. Is this was, with the rice? This is, is this with, with the rice on yeah, it? Or just... With the rice, yes. Oh, wow. And me and Haftor That's... together beat those five. <laughs> <laughs> Did you carry it though? Uh, no, he Eight. carried. He, do you know how many he had? 120. <laughs> <laughs> he carried me to victory in that one. <laughs> Is there... Did you throw up after? No. No, no, yeah, if I if I do eat that much though, like you know, I I don't have the greatest stomach, so like I've thrown up that, like before with that. Like I've overeat. Like that's where I know it's an addiction because I th this isn't anything current. This is like my worst time. This is like pre medication. This is like my heaviest going through like the worst mental I think at that time. Yeah. And it was like I would eat to the point where I would even like throw up. Too like it was. It's just so weird to look back on it too. I get Because it's just like, like, why the fuck? But I did. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Personally, like, I haven't experienced that, but I've heard from people that are overeating, and they're saying, and, and you, I think you said it as well, and it is the fact that that's the only time you feel good when, yeah. you're, when you're eating. At some point, yeah. <clears throat> now what, yeah. Yeah, now you, what I, my energy has went into... My, why I say my copium is because my diet soda kind of is that now. I've mentally gotten to where, like, how I used to overeat a bunch of food, I would just drink another oh. diet soda. Yeah, but it's and it better. Now. It's yeah. way better. Yeah. So. It is I... a good copium. It's actually um... good. <laughs> no, I have, I have, I think I have a uh, close to you on McDonald's as well. But I don't remember exactly what I has had. I think it was four like... large cokes, though. No, I didn't have four large cokes. I, I can't compete with that one. But I, I can't believe I did that. But I think it was like uh, probably two Big Macs, two or three or four cheeseburgers, two fries uh, with uh, with um, milkshake. It's a lot too. It's a lot, but it isn't as much. You didn't have the four cokes. No. <laughs> I got you on that, canoe. You got me on that one. 
Oh. That, that must feel so uh, insane. Because I'm, um, I'm a fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> Almost 100%. Like, I can't even, like, eat that stuff anymore because of that. Like, I can't even eat Big Macs anymore because of that day. No, did you feel dizzy after eating? Oh my god, yeah. I got... <sighs> god. Did your eyesight so feel a bit bad? Like a bit... Yes. Uh... I, got, I got up, I was dizzy. Um, I was also having... I thought what I was having at the time was like earwax issues. Yeah. Or something. But what I realized is I think it was blood pressure. Because it was my heaviest. And it and can also my... be high blood yeah. sugar. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I was just going so hard. I didn't give a fuck anymore. Like, it, I really didn't. <clears throat> I didn't care at all. My room was, like, super dirty at that time, too. Like, I was going through, like, really, really, really weird time in my life because it was so out of character for who I am, but it was, like, a good year that my life was like that. Was it so, good year? It didn't like, sound like the best not year. A, no, not a good year. I mean, like... When I say a good year, I mean like it was probably about a year. Oh, it was about a year. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. But from now on, we will change. This this is good. I um, I think it's good that you're just open about it. Uh, when you if you start strugg struggling some days and everything, in the future now that we're doing this, I think that you should just be open about it to to your chat, for example. Because they will encourage you. Is that the word you use? <laughs> encourage? Yeah, I can't. Don't make sure I don't ever eat shit like that. I will never be able to eat stuff on stream, ever. No, like, you, <laughs> not even your diet like, meals? No, I mean my diet meals, but I'm going to have to like green screen all my Snicker bars and stuff. So nobody's going to uh, be able to see my secret Snicker bars. We will uh, know if you have secret Snicker bars when we see the wait-in. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I don't even like Snicker bars. <laughs> we will know that you have been eating them. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm trying to... I want to show you the numbers too. I want you to be like, oh shit, that's... That's good, yeah. I want, yeah. I want, to, I want to lose the weight. The, the coach it's I like, have used... Kinda, he, is there someone else losing uh, weight? Because I'd love to lose weight at the same time as someone else, so I could. There's so many people editor. losing weight. Yeah, but I want somebody to try to lose weight right now. Because I'd love to be competitive. Make a that channel on so your Discord, fun. and uh, have those join in. Those who are doing that. That's an idea. Well, there's a lot of people that said they're already in. Yeah. That that's actually exciting, and stuff like. But I want to make it a little competitive. If I make it competitive, I know it goes so fucking hard. Yeah, and it, it it isn't only about being competitive, but it's do, when you do something together with others, you don't want to be the guy that stops. Fine. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And everyone will then push each other to 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 reach the goals. Yep. So, so I think... Sorry, it'd be kind of nice to have kind of someone also. And you don't know, you know how many people that are struggling with losing weight all the time. Jesus Christ, you see it everywhere. This is like the most normal problem in today's society. <laughs> I, I think uh, a lot of people maybe feel like they're a little bit alone with the, a problem like this, but you're absolutely not. This is the probably the most common problem in the world almost definitely i mean 100 yeah. percent. i mean it sure definitely is i i'm probably gonna see if poke wants to do it because poke has been going to the gym by the way he's yeah, like yeah. been going to uh like doing cardio yeah so he said he said it uh, when you played the uh, wars no call of duty that he was yeah, going you to the gym. If you made him a diet plan, he would 100% follow it too. If he wants to join in, we can make uh, we can adjust for him as well. It, uh, that's all up to you guys. There, there, I, I, re I was reading through the comments and people were asking if I could like, oh, can you coach me? Can you coach me? 
I can't coach everyone. The, well, they're going to be too me, many. Though. Yeah, what I I think I responded to one or two of them that they should rather. I, I think I linked them your Twitch or something. So you should rather follow this guy, Jesse, and uh, and take advice from what he is doing. Go take his advice to go to my stream. Uh, hey, what's going on? You want? I can help <laughs> you out, yo. What do you no, need? No, no, but uh, maybe maybe it's better to follow uh, TikToks and make make those instead because it's like short burst content, so it's easier to just sort out what you want. Like go to your, if you're going to post there as well. I'm not sure. I the guy that. Uh, I'm I'm not making anything for my TikTok myself. I'm lazy. Me, well, me neither. I've I've chowder doing it. Yeah. My your guy hit me up and was asking if my channel was real, and I said yeah. He yeah. asked me like yesterday. Yeah. yeah. He's good. Dude. He Have you seen the TikToks? He's yeah, making. he's good at. <laughs> he's fucking amazing. <laughs> Have you seen his YouTube channel? No. Wait, wait, what is it? Okay, I need to show you his YouTube channel. <laughs> Um, you, you can. Um, I have to advertise him because he. It, it, this will be good content to watch. Just you can set up a few minutes. Let's see. Uh, what video should I choose? I could show you just the first. He made. He made three Camp Knut videos with me, all memes, but I can just show you. Just look at the first Someone one here, just to see his editing skills and uh, how good it is you, you will laugh like I don't know how his brain works because uh, to get he, just taking clips from a stream and making it into this just, just have a look at that video I will be quiet it is TOS friendly it into this just, just have a look at that video I will be quiet it is TOS friendly <laughs> let's see what it <laughs> oh my god This is a good video. Think more in terms of what you can accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis with gradual improvement, right? So, like, if that means you do five push-ups or you go on a fucking five-minute walk around your house, start small, add a minute, add a push-up. Every day, every week, try to add a minute. This is so good. Bro! <laughs> Bro! Bro! <laughs> <laughs> Can you just need draw? This is not need draw. That is true. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 is that Tecton? How long have, how long have you been working on? Two days. That is Tecton. Oh! Yes. Well, you know that guy over there to get in the video? Wait, you right? Oh! oh. Yes. <laughs> Can you, you can't do that to me. I'm not going to do Sorry. that to you. It's fine. Okay. It's good. Can you, you can't do that to me. You were like straight up just looking at me. I'm not going to do that to you. Okay. What was that transition? <laughs> what was that transition? What was that transition? <laughs> Look at it again. What was that transition? <laughs> good question. <laughs> Look at it again. Thank you, uh, Rick. <laughs> good question. Rick. 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 <laughs> that aged <Okay>. even worse. <laughs> <laughs> you literally that sent me this worse. video. <laughs> <laughs> you literally sent me this video. <laughs> 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 Bro. <laughs> it's our 
food. You're doing this diet with us. To be fair, man, you should be on this diet too. <laughs> <laughs> The car is such a beast. That car is so good. The car is such a beast. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, good one. It is a good video. <laughs> Actually, good one. He's <laughs> he's uh, making the best meme it, videos. It's insane. It was it was three months ago, so you know. The, this was before yeah. uh, all the drama yeah. happened. Uh... <laughs> it aged like milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one video you sent me had like two. <laughs> like I don't know what this misgift section was, but <laughs> it just didn't age well. But yeah, that guy's sick. You ever see this guy, Fulcrum? No. He gets faded than a hoe in New York City on this one. What, what, what did you say he did? He gets faded than a hoe in New York City. Well, he might be. In he might be in uh, Penjingman, but he might be in Blinker City. It depends. I don't know yet. What does that even mean? <clears throat> um, well, it depends. He, like, right now, he's about to take a big hit out of this vaporizer doinky machine. Oh. See how it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a Dabbington here. I'm, I'm watching. Like, what does he have in his wipe? Uh, just exquisite weed. So he, uh... He goes in public places and he smokes weed. Okay, but why does he do that? Is it, is it uh, illegal? Um, I'm not sure if it is, but he gets obliterated at Carl's Jr. in this one. Hey, this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is stoner humor. Uh, I don't get it uh, yet. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> he's in. Look, I'm trying. Let me explain it to you. Let me read his uh, summary so you can get it. Because yeah. he has a summary here. I don't have to actually explain it. He has it. What's good, Yodi Land family? I hope everyone's having a good day, and I hope you enjoy this banger in this video. I get severely faded than a hoe at Carl's Jr. I was extremely obliterated at this restaurant. In the second half of the video, I threw in an additional vlog with my friend Pizza Brian. Yeah. I don't know. But, but, uh, so, so he just walks around and get, smokes weed in public places? Well, he doesn't just smoke weed. It's a talent. He gets absolutely obliterated. Look. <laughs> He smokes too much weed? Yeah, he gets faded than a hoe. That means that you're uh, really fucking uh, uh, intoxicated? Like you're, yeah, so like if you're smoking, you have a couple of stops, kind of like a bus. You can make, you can drop off wait, at wait, 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 Before you continue, stops and what? Some stops, like say it's like a train and you have like stops. In the weed world, say mm. I start going, the first place I'm going to hit is Blinky City. It's just a rest stop. It's just to start off and to get me there. But then I'm going to take another train, and I'm going to take my way over to Benjamin. Once I get to Benjamin, there's a fork in the road. I can go down Woodington, or I can go down Dabbington. He went down Dabbington in the last video. At Carl's Jr., he was hitting the Blinkington. Uh, I, I guess that wasn't places he really was going. It was... Uh... It was like painting a picture of something else, was it? Yeah. It's pretty much art, yeah. I know, it's hard to understand, but... So, so back to what I said, he gets really intoxicated. Yeah. Okay, there's a friend of mine that just uh, typed in chat and... Uh... 
Oh, I think he um, he has a point that we <laughs> we might have to take weed out of your diet because this doesn't sound good after what you just said. What do you mean? No, I, <clears throat> no, I don't do any of this. I don't go. I, no, 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 no. This is you don't. You don't understand the Yodi gang shit. This is new. Yeah, I think this that is, is new I think stuff. that is. Uh, like he shits his pants in the store. Yeah, that's uh, if you th when you when you think that is funny, then I think you have been too intoxicated. <laughs> no, he's he's just getting super popular recently. This guy. He has fun. He makes really good. He makes good funny lingo, like Benjamin <laughs> City, Blinker Town, yeah. taking a fat blinker. I don't know. It's like, do you have any cool workout lingo that I don't get? Mm. Like, what's a rep? I don't have any other words for it than a rep. That, that is pretty. Like, training isn't about uh, being cool or anything. It's just uh, doing the same over and over again. Every day. And uh, learn to enjoy it. <laughs> Alright, maybe I'll, sl I'll slow maybe, down on those. Maybe you should go points. to Reppington City. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Reppington City. I, saw I, guys, a... I stole that one from my chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't even go to Benjamin. It's Let's go to the gym. Uh <laughs> That was pretty. That were, uh, we, we can uh, make up some uh, new uh, new um, language about uh, going to the gym. So it sounds way cooler. <laughs> yeah, like what? What would you say instead of faded than a hoe? Instead, instead of, faded, of faded. Yeah. Maybe it could just be faded like a hoe or whatever you said uh, when you're finished with leg day. That is being almost the same. Fitter than a hoe. Fitter than yeah. a hoe. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, fitter than a hoe. That's that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Wait, wait, so wait. so let's make a deal. So you get me fit and then I'm gonna get you to start smoking. Um uh... I'm kidding, I'm kidding, yeah. I'm, I'm literally kidding. I know what you did, I was like just joking. I'll do it for for no with no extra. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. that's what I go with you. I'll um, get you to Benjamin City, and you get me to who's a you get me to Thor. Not not give me to Thor the Marvel Thor. I want that body, and then you get to Benjamin City. The the what is this guy? What's the actor's name? I forget his name. What's the name of the What's the name of the Thor? Listen, Chris uh, Hemsworth. Chris, uh, Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, yeah, I can. I'm so bad with names. I, I would say that isn't a goal we should be aiming for for health. We are doing health. We're not doing uh, Hollywood uh, acting uh, look. Well, I know, but I'm saying maybe one day. Uh, you have to, to take off that like, mustache as well. And cut the what? hair. Get a nice Me? Hair. Yes. You have a mustache too. What are you talking about? Uh, open my stream. Did you get rid of it already? Hold on. There's no way it's gone already. Oh my god! Bro! <laughs> I thought we had something in common. You saw I had a mustache and you got rid of one. <laughs> also, your eyes are gorgeous. It's just the light in there. I have a filters on. Oh, I can turn off the filter. Turn off the filter, let's see. Right. I have to do this. It, put, it puts the mustache back. <laughs> All right, where is it? It's dark. No. Fuck with. Benchington. Uh, 
I'll turn off the filters. <laughs> you turned off all the filters? Yes. <laughs> Bro, you actually look pretty good bald though. Holy shit. Yeah, but this uh, this bald filter isn't the best. It actually looks pretty good like Oh, wait, I'll show you a different one if I can find it. I'll tell you that you could rock bald though. Like I could see it. I have a I have been completely bald. So <laughs> Is I, that how it looks? And I think the real baldness looks better than this. Fuck, now I can't turn it off. Wait. Jesus uh, Christ, WTF commute. <laughs> His thing's rubber stuck. His bald. <laughs> I was stuck. It, uh, the filter disappeared. What was that demon one, bro? You went to that demon was a World of Warcraft filter that I had to use for a sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> Use it for. A... <laughs> I had to sit there. I could choose between this, this, <laughs> you did. A... <laughs> did you do the green one? <laughs> I think I mixed them up. The green one would have been so good. Uh, uh, Dragonflight sponsor. Yes, that is Wait, true. You, ha you had to use a filter? Yeah, for one of the streams. <laughs> they're, getting, they're getting crazy with that. It's yeah, so funny. I want to do that. It's a good sponsor. It was fu it's fun to do those sponsorships. It, it's nice to have a sponsorship where you actually you can enjoy doing it. You don't have to pretend at all. You get like a you get like a a hair growth sponsor, and they make you do the bald filter, and then the <laughs> next stream you don't have the filter on. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> No, but uh, the, the Keeps is a company that uh, sponsors uh, a lot of people. I'm not sure if you've seen them. They, they, oh, bunnies. Uh, hair, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. They're sponsoring a lot of um, a lot of uh, influencers. I don't have hair loss. So I can I, see I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't make a good... Uh, you know, what to, good. and now I came up with an idea that would be good fun to see you do on stream. You should do the same as I did. Go to a barber. And get a haircut as well. Because now like, you almost have that emo hair, you know, that they also have like in, a little bit hanging down in front of their eyes, listening to sad music. What are you uh, trying to say? I think you should get a haircut. Well, I actually am going to be getting a haircut. My sister gives me my haircuts. You have a short hair? Imagine. Yeah. I do short hair. You do? I just haven't done it in a while. Yeah. My ah. sister gives me my haircut though. I'll do it. I will do it. I mean I don't I don't go to barber shops. No? You don't No. Don't you like to go outside at all? Yeah. I don't like going to barber shops though. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I um I don't like barber shops or dentists. Those are my two least favorite places to go. Okay, well, is there any reason? Yeah, I don't like... I, I, I see uh, a lot of people is You, you want to know, actually? It's uh -huh. a big one. It's a big one. Uh -huh. I have a phobia. I have, like, a blood blood circulation phobia. Like, uh, cutting off circulation. So, like, if you're about to go get, like, a take blood and... You know, when they put, like, the rubber band on you? Uh -huh. I get more freaked out about the rubber band on me than them taking blood. Like, I get so weak I'm about to pass out. Uh -huh. And when I put that thing around my neck at the barber shop, it does the same thing to me. But when I put that thing, yeah, they yeah, put that you, thing around me. But you could and just I, tell them not to take it around your neck and just let yeah, the hair I always do, and then it becomes a con. I know, but the, they always want to do it, and I'd just rather not do it. Deal with it. Nice yeah, but just say I'm, I have a phobia of getting uh, things around my neck. Uh, I, I don't care if uh, I get uh, hair on my clothing. Would they deny you that? And they, maybe they wouldn't, but I don't want to be weird. 
we you know what I mean? <laughs> we're fucking in I literally realms. just sit there having an anxiety attack the entire time <laughs> until I leave. Jesse, we are clowns on the internet in front of thousands of people every day. Does it matter if a barber thinks we're a little bit weird? <laughs> yeah, but they're looking at me in person. <laughs> this isn't real, dude. These are all AIs. <laughs> this is an AI that are just putting the laughing emoji. <laughs> Detected joke. Uh, but you meet them sometimes. When you're walking outside, there are people saying, "Ah, you just see, I watch your stream, I've seen you, and then uh, you take a picture with them. Then you see that there isn't the AIs. Oh. Yeah, that, well, I've never done that, so. Never? No, I've only had, uh, like, the only, because I didn't, wait, what do you mean? What was, what did I just answer? I'm saying, like, I've never went out and, like, fans have met me and shit. I've only... Not very a, not rarely random. at one time when i was working in uh i was working at this place and i was walking down the street to go get food and some guy said donkey when i was walking past it was like some old youtube shit i used to do yeah. which was awkward because it was right outside my job and then um <clears throat> yeah, i don't have another time that's the only time i've ever been recognized and i don't even know how he recognized me because i barely showed my face but barely if you walked outside now in a bigger city, for example, there oh, would be would, yeah, a lot of people that would recognize you. Yeah, it's, it gives me more of a reason to not go outside. <laughs> no, people are nice. I've, I have to say, I've never had a bad uh, experience with someone recognizing me. Never. I think people are going to be mean, but I don't want to go outside and people are looking at me. They will say you know hello. They will say hello, Jesse, and they will say I like your stream. That isn't bad. Yeah. But what if I just banned them the day before? <laughs> then they would probably avoid you. <laughs> hey, Pips. Hey, you banned me yesterday, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> uh... I'm I'm not afraid to uh, meet band chatters. <laughs> yeah, IRL unban request. Yeah. No, I, I'm sure it would be good. I, I, you know what? I'm more afraid that kids will see me because I had this experience at the store the other day, and there was like I th think they were like 14, maybe 15 years old, some uh, kids standing there. Yes, you are kids if you're 15 or 14, and and they said. Are you that guy that speaks English uh, in the car <laughs> on TikTok? I'm like, oh, I remember the clips that is from TikTok from me speaking English in the car. That is... <laughs> uh, 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 that's that's what people come up and walk up to you. And... <laughs> Can't you just? I'll, I'll show you probably what they are. You, are you seen. talking about? Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I'm not sure talking if it's about the, I hope it is the cookies and cream. I hope it is that one, but watch this one. This is the latest one from the car, and I hope you didn't watch that one. <laughs> the music. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so you don't like you don't like taxes? No, that's why I want to move to the US. <laughs> Wait. Wait, now we're in like a now we're in like a weird reality. I can I can do this if you want to. It doesn't matter. No, but it, it, when it comes to the taxes thing, I think it's too much in Norway. And it's, you could probably have some more in the States and it wouldn't matter, but it's too much there. However, it depends what state you're in. Well, I'm in Florida, so I don't have any state tax. I know. It's like the same as Texas. But, but in Everyone Norway, shits on same. Florida, but it's the same as yeah, Florida. Same yeah, and Florida seems to be one of the better places to live as well. Except the hurricanes. The hurricanes is literally, yeah. literally the reason I like. If I were to not be here, it'd be because of the hurricanes. 
They're Kappa, but Floridians just pretend to be crazy so you guys don't come here. Do you know what I think That's is the, the worst state in the United States? Huh. What do you think? What do you think I will say? California? Yes. Oh, yeah, easily. It seems like the absolute worst. Yeah, I mean, it would just kind of be like L.A., right? Oh, Ohio. Uh, You've been seeing all that stuff going on in Ohio? I haven't been there, so I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, my family's actually from Ohio, so it's funny that that's, like, what the whole meme is. like. What is going on there? Ohio and Florida. It's, like, yeah. great. Can't escape. No, I, I think it's... Um, and they're, they're looking over at us and have uh, Norway as... Uh, to look up to, and I think it's horrible for them. They need to stop. What? I mean, really? Yeah. I. <clears throat> well, I don't freedom, get too deep Jesse. Into it, but... Freedom, Jesse. Enjoy your freedom what? while you have it. That's all I'm saying. Are they gonna take it from me? They will. They're doing that here now, a little bit uh, every day. And I'm not talking about the guns, because it doesn't matter. That isn't the important thing. What do I do to stop? Is that why I have to become stronger? No, you have to vote. Oh. I thought that was just going to be like, I can become stronger so when they eventually come here I can fight them off. But I have to say, uh, in the United States, the problem is that, or it is the same problem here, you don't have any one to vote for because they're all equally bad. And yes, and it's the same in the United States. It's horrible on both sides. There's no one. Yep. Why isn't there a party that could be like in the middle and take like the the better things oh, there from is. each side? There is no. There is no one takes it seriously. It's the independent. Yeah, then they should vote for them. <laughs> oh well, you know it. The guy says, I'm, a, I'm Norwegian and Knut makes Norway look much worse than it is. Then he hasn't followed the politics for next year, how it's going to end up now. It's it's an issue. It's a, it's a big issue. They're going to kill going the on, salmon what? industry. Uh, or what, what they're doing is, basically, that you have, in Norway, left and right side would both be on left side in the United States. Just saying, like, the, the right-wing parties in Norway is even more left than Joe Biden. That's number one. Okay. We have to, to compare the politics. That, that is important to know. And what they're doing now is chasing everyone with money out of the country, which... Which means, then again, they're moving to Switzerland for low taxes, taking their uh, money with them, which means lower income. And, and you can say it doesn't matter if one of them are moving out, right? And someone, oh, they, they, it's good that they're moving out because we hate the rich. You have heard all of that bullshit. What will happen is that every time those in the top 10% moves out, they have to increase the taxes on everyone else. So, and the more they add in on the rich, the more, and, and they move out, the more they have so to saying, take from the poorer. So it just makes it a little bit worse all the time. It has to be balanced. Already already. It has started, but the, the thing is, in Norway, we have so much money that the effects will be minimalistic until until it, it wouldn't be more money left and there is so much it won't uh, do anything in a long time where'd you guys get all this money oil oh and and the insane thing is that those political parties that is doing this is they want to stop the whole whole oil industry as well so how they are going to make money. money. So how are we going to make money then? If rich people move out and we stop the oil production, then we will end up with what? The point being, point being, it needs to be balanced. That's my whole point. It needs to be a balance. That, that is what best country do you think has the best uh, political system? Can, can you ban that guy's that his name, Matt, Matt Shartwig, in your chat? Yeah, is he weird? Yeah, he's weird. 
Thank you. Okay. <laughs> He's an asshole from Norway. <laughs> he's a he's a Evening he's commute. a radical crazy left winger like all the way out there <laughs> anything for you can <laughs> you thank you for you so what what country has the best political system that that is hard to tell but i think there, there's some laws that i see because switzerland is one of the richest countries and i oil think as well no, they don't have oil. But I think a, a good law that they have in their uh, that they have in their country is that the state should always spend as low amount of money as possible. That is in their laws, and I think that is a good a good law to have. If it is the best thing, uh, if they have the best politics in the world, I don't know. But they, they so have a good welfare system, they have uh, free health care, and they don't have insane taxes. So they have made it work. And they have, they, they do uh, voting for different, like, uh, sm even if it's like smaller cases, that is um, the decisions to make in the country, not smaller, but uh, they, they do votes. Like the, the population votes. So I, I think that is that is some good things. Do I know enough about everything they're doing to uh, to say if they're the best? I don't know enough. But that they're doing something correct at least. They have a lot of rich foreigners, that is correct, because of all of this other stuff that is carrying their country probably. If the Swiss doesn't have oil, how are they making all their money? They uh, get a lot of money in. From who? From people who want to live there at least. From banks. Oh. They have done something good at least. But, it, but it's hard to tell exactly. Um, I, I'm not. Uh, I, I'm more engaged in the Norwegian politics than. Uh, than uh, all around the world, to be honest. I barely know about politics. I know like Donald Duck versus like Hillary Carton or something like a couple of years ago. It's crooked Hillary. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some <laughs> shit with that happened, but Donald Duck that. versus crooked Hillary. I know we have um, right now. Our president is one of Jeff Dunham's like fucking puppets or whatever. I forget. Let me. Is that guy's name? Old man puppet. Yeah, that there's. Uh... Jeff Dunham. It, it isn't easy to, nothing, to nothing. choose. I would fully understand if people uh, if people skip voting. I, I fully understand. Make he you great again, blood trail. Uh. <laughs> I have to show that one. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Dunham. That, uh, that. Yeah, Jeff Dunham, Dunham. Oh uh, no, but I should go to the gym. It was nice talking to you, Jesse. It, it wasn't a short call, even though I asked for one. But uh, we had a good time. Yeah, it was a good. That was a good call. It was a good chat, and I'm more confident for tomorrow too. Yes. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you a, a weigh in tomorrow. Yeah. And I'll tell you how my first meal was, or I'll tell you how the coffee was, because I know I'm gonna shit my pants. So. Wait, yeah. we all know that's going to happen. So I'll give you the shit pants update. Yeah, don't take so. pictures. Yeah, I'll give you a pic, so. No, no. I got you. <laughs> no pic. All right, well, but it I was appreciate nice. it, homie. Let's, uh, whenever you want to give an update on how you feel the first days have been, just tell mm -hmm. me. Okay. We will, we'll make Co some time. Coach, can you? Yeah, we'll make some time. And then... All right, I'll let you Clean up anything's going downhill. <laughs> and if it's going well. Yeah, true. I mean, if, if that's what's going to happen, but. Yes. No, but then, All right, a, brother. Have a good day and uh, don't uh, kill yourself eating today. No, I, I won't. I haven't, I'm not even eating until way later, too. So. But. Good. I'll try not to die. But all right. Peace out on me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Jesse is such a funny dude. Positive, funny guy. 
Jesse won't unban you once before I tell you to. Maybe I'll ask next time if you stop spreading your uh, your fake news. Tech company is going to be running Norway. Who's going to lead them? The guys that is sitting up all night streaming till 6 a.m., waking up at 11 and starts uh, doing nothing the day after. Are they going to carry us?